gonna do a little bit of Madden science today. The mystery pack. For 8,500 training, you get one random pack. Pro Playmaker, Star Elite, Legends, Max Fantasy Pack, Campus Heroes, or a Soul Gold Plus player. I've got 400,000 training and 9 million coins. We're gonna shred through these and see if they're profitable. I did this same video four months ago when mystery packs were literally 150 training. They were pretty awesome back then. I don't know if they've still got the sauce. Let's find out. 8,000 1,500 training. We start with a max fantasy pack. I assume this isn't what you want. I feel like pro playmaker pack is probably where you make your money, but let's find out. We're always going to take the highest overall players to get the most training back. That first round was nothing special. 81, 80, 81, 83. This isn't much either. But you get three players on that final round. Now, rather than quick selling all these guys right now, I will check the value. It's 846. So we took an 8,000 training hit. And boys, I cannot wait to go to the NFC Championship. I gotta see a Lions dub. And of course, I got my tickets on SeatGeek. SeatGeek takes tickets from all around the web and puts them in one location to make buying simple. And with the NBA, NHL, and NFL all in full swing, SeatGeek Geek's got the tickets to every game. They'll even show you the entire stadium. Green is good and red is bad, so you know you're getting a good deal. And of course, you can use my code MMG to get $20 off your first purchase at SeatGeek. That's code MMG for $20 off your first purchase. Make sure to click that link in the top of the description and enjoy the rest of the video. On the very first one, that's not what we're looking for. I am gonna hang on to these though. I'm gonna do this in waves so we can get a really good grasp of how this goes. Our second one's Max Fantasy again. Probably not what we want. But if we can get a lead set in this first round, they may survive. Deion Dawkins, Fred Taylor, Juju, Sherman. Yikes. Third pack is pro playmaker. I am confident that this is profit. But let's find out. 84, Jimmy Smith. 80, Rashad White. Devin Godshaw. Sauce Gardner. 90, Vernon Davis. This is big time profit right here. 81, Chubba Hubbard. And we end it with 83, Palomalo. Not going to quick sell it. Just want to look. 13,000 trading. That's... Not as much as I thought it would be. It's definitely profit. Gonna be a little bit more with that 90 in there. Obviously, at any given time, if you pull a limited, that's where you're really going for. Get a Campus Heroes Fantasy Pack here. I don't know much about this pack. I think you get guaranteed Campus Heroes on round one and two. Looking for anything higher than an 82. 82, 82, 82, 82. Yeah, it's kind of how it goes. And these are just golds or better. We do get an 81. Not the strongest start. Star Elite Pack. Just depends what you pull, I guess. That's not good. 83 Cam Jordan, 88 Evan Neal. That's nice. And then McCoy, that would be 4,700 training. That's a loss as well. Every time I see a Star Elite Pack and I see Jason Kelsey, I get sad. 91 Kenneth Murray. A and 90 Chris Hinton. And 85 Jaden Reed. That's a heater. 28,000 training on the Star Elite. That's a monster pack right there. Max Fantasy once again. First round's got an 85 Deontay Hardy. Josh Oliver, Bradshaw, Bullard. Okay, not bad. Pro Playmaker. That's what we're looking for. I don't know if it's guaranteed profit every time, but it feels like it. Let's see on this one right here. Paul Krause. Hmm. Okay, this is like a historically bad one, so this will determine if it's actually profit or not. Nick Bolton. So that's why I wanted to check how many coins I have too, because we will get coin quick sell players. So we quick sold everything in here. It did not guarantee profit by any means 2000 training that's dog water but you'd also get 57000 coins that's a lot of coins on that nick bolton 85000 training will get you 10 of these packs actually this is my 10th pack right here so we'll stop here regroup and take a look at what we've got after this final max fantasy and then we'll just keep going this first round is ugly Randall, Avila, Ryan Bates, Sam Williams. Yeah, ugly. I think out of those 10, only two were true profit. Some were kind of close. If we quick sold everything from that first wave, we'd get 56 thousand training so we'd lose roughly twenty nine thousand training but we also have nick bolton for fifty seven thousand coins so that first wave is definitely not profit let's go do 10 more pro playmaker pack i like that that's a good start alec ingold justin matabuike this one's monstrous 84 john randall 84 jalen johnson 84 strahan 83 gus the bus carl granderson and chris boswell this one is nuclear i'm getting too geeked up fifteen thousand training He's nothing crazy. Certainly nice. Back-to-back -back pro playmakers. You like to see that. 83 Vince. 83 Grady Jarrett. 83 Van Ginkle. 82 Megatron. 
Drake London, Granderson, Howie Long, Kenny Moore. This is not one of the good ones. Probably 5,000 training, maybe. Star Elite. This is where we got our highest overall so far, which was 91 Kenneth Murray. 87 Matabuike, 83 Devonta Smith, and a gold. Yuck. Max Fantasy once again. Starting with Strowman and Janu Smith. We'll take it. Vanessa, Fenton, Newsom, Marcus May. It's not good either. I was kind of geeked up. I thought these were going to be crazy, but starting to think these just aren't as good as they used to be. Star Elite. Redux, wait a minute. Hey, 90 Josh Allen. That's a pretty dope card to pull right here. That would be 11,000 training on the Star Elite. Star Elites have been much better than I expected. Those ones probably have the highest odds that an actually good player. Pro Playmaker again. I was talking you up, Pro Playmaker. 90 Irv Smith. 83 Jerome. D Hop. Danny Pinter. Olave. Darnell Wright. Right. Now, of course, you don't have to quick sell your players. That's 24,000 training right there. You could individually sell them. I think on average, you will make more coins individually selling, but that's pretty time consuming. It is crazy to me that in 2024, EA doesn't have a competent companion app or even like a PC crossover like they have on FIFA. Now, I, they do have a companion app. It's just utter dog shit. Gosh, it's just, it is very time consuming to build a team, buy players, change in and out your lineup, especially with how much lag Madden has. You think think they'd have some potential workaround, but this is EA we're talking about. Pro Playmaker right here. We have two more packs until we're at our second wave of 10. These have been hit and miss, and this one's a miss. Although I like this better than some, not quite breaking even. Definitely need a Pro Playmaker or Star Elite. Oh, I think this one's going to be negative as well, over 10. Edmonds, Benito, special there. Dickerson, Charles Cross, Leonard Williams, Big Cat is a nice pull right here. I'll take that. All right, this is our final mystery pack for this second set of 10. We've now done 20, and it's a Campus Heroes pack. Gotta get an 88 at least, or these are a wash. Start out with a choice of 82s usually, and you gotta get an 88 here. 82, 82, 82, 82. And 75 up here. That one was real bad. Second wave of 10 mystery packs. Quick sells for 71,000 training. That wave was a lot better, but still it's a net loss of 13,000 training. I will say though, if it's that close, the mystery pack, if you're trying to convert your training into coins, doing the mystery pack and selling those players, it's gotta be better than doing these. Now, granted, of course, if there's a limited in store, you have a chance of getting the limited. I've spent a lot of training on a lot of those rerolls and I finally pulled Nick Bosa after like, I don't know, maybe 500,000. Took a long time. I, I think might be smarter to go this route. We get another Campus Heroes. This one's got 285s on the start. Okay. Maybe the second round is only 82s. That's all I'm getting there. This will be our third wave of 85,000. These Campus Heroes are going to get me in trouble too. These aren't too great, but at least we get an 85 there. Looks like this second round is literally just 82s. Star Elite Pack. Got a Campus Hero. Mark 85 Davenport. A zero chill. Nine year of Smith. Nice. It's a solid one. 12,000 training there. Just a little bit of profit. Max Fantasy here. 89 AJ Brown. That's really nice in this round. 7,300. That's the closest we got to a break even. You know what I will say about the Mystery Pack though? In everything we pulled, we only have one gold play. Plus, there's got to be such a low chance. Star Elite's got a big legend. Eh. It's always a little blue balls when they do that to you. See that big animation? It's actually just a really old player. Another Campus Heroes. Start with an 85. All 82s on the second round. Final rounds. Nothing great. Campus Heroes are definitely at the uh, the bottom tier. I think Max Fantasy and Campus Heroes are bad. Yo, you know what's crazy? I haven't gotten a single Legends pack. This thing can have a Legends pack in it? I don't even know. Because I haven't seen one. Must be really rare to get your hands on the Legends pack then. Get a Star Elite with Eddie Jackson. And that's like our fifth Gus Edwards. He is really in packs right now. Pro Playmaker once again. Dude, I wonder if we'll get <laughs> wonder if we'll get a Legends pack at any point in this. Jonathan Greenard, Champ, CMC, Thielen, Sweat, Brady Jarrett, Robert Hainsey. This might be close. 12840. That is profit. Nice work, boys. Legends back. Asking you shall receive. I don't even know if I want it. Like, is this that good? I feel like it's probably not that good. 84 Fred Taylor, 85 all star 84 Will Shields, 80 Walter Payton. Yeah, like so rare for what? That was 2,700 training. Pro Playmaker, this is definitely our best wave, I think. I guess we're gonna find out. 85 Bruce Smith, 84 Sermon, get a 90 most feared. Alvin Kamara, honestly a nasty card. 87 Hinton, 85 Deshaun, 85 Dejuan Johnson, 81 Carmichael, a playoffs player. Jalen Reeves Maven had a great game. Charles Cross is a really good, this is a really good pro playmaker right here. 18,000. 
beauty. And 145,000 training is our third wave of 10. We're now 30 mystery packs in. That might have been overall profit on that wave right there. Let's find out. Third wave. 66 items for 77,000 training. Once again, it's not profit. And honestly, we had some really good packs in that one. Max fantasy pack three times in a row. Yeah. Not looking good. 81 Will. Money Manzel. Okay, not bad. Dude, all max fantasy packs this wave. And an 88. I'll take it. Campus Heroes fantasy pack. Ooh, finally an 88. We get 88 Jordan Davis. And it's still all 82s on that round. At least we got an 88. Star Elite. We need a big one to save this. This wave is not looking good. 78, 89 Debo. We do need that right there. And 83 Edred. Take it. Absolutely. Our second Legends pack. Wow, not a lot of these. You want to come up big Legends pack? 82 Humphrey. We got a big animation at least in 87. 88 Megatron. We take those. Ooh, a little bit of coins here. 87 Kyle Williams. 84 Deardor. That's a nice pack right there. That's 7,850 training and 14,000 coins. It's actually a break even. Thought it was a little bit better than that. Star Elite pack right here. We have two more packs in this wave. It ain't looking good. Ramondre, that's at least an 88. It is an 88. Ryan Neal and 84 Jack Tatum. Another Star Elite. It's gotta be big. Need a 91. 85 Dieter. 89 Stingley. 82 Jones. Yeah. And we end with a Star Elite pack. This one is Shaw. 88 Jimmy. 83 Deshaun. 71 Mike Thomas. This wave quick sells for 49,000 training. That's a big loss. 35,000 training. Now, what I am going to do is get 85,000 more so we can do a final wave and have opened 50 mystery packs. But I won't quick sell any of the players we just got so that I don't dip into the wrong bucket here. All right, the final wave of 10. Let's see what we can do here. Starting with the campus heroes. This one is the worst. Gold plus is the worst, but this sucks, dude. Because you're, gosh, if you're not guaranteed 82s on that second round, then I'm just really unlucky or the odds are horrible. Pro playmaker on the second one. What I'm just so, I guess, sad about packs this year wise is like, look at how many packs I've opened. I haven't pulled a single usable player. The best player I've pulled is 91 Kenneth Murray, which at this point in Madden is basically a useless card i mean yeah you could technically get away with using it but i feel like there should be a lot more 92s and 93s just casually in packs shit there's 96 overalls in the game star elite's got a megatron deerdorf and stromberg i'll definitely take it i do remember the days many many years ago when you could pull just the most nuclear players in packs dude it was so fun in the day, EA is always going to make as much money as they possibly can. Like, there's it's just a fact, but I feel like there has to be a middle ground. 90 Darnell Savage in that first round is not bad. Good looks on the Max Fantasy. Second round is horrendous. Damn, that one had a chance to be a really good Max Fantasy. Star Elite's got Avila. 91 Quay. Yo, this is about the best pack we've got so far. 2,418 training. That was a beauty right there. That's actually exactly what I mean. I haven't pulled a single 92 or higher. 89 Havenstein. 84 Trayvon Walker. Three more, boys. Pro Playmaker, nice. Creed, Carmichael, Kraus, Big Mac, DRC, Taki Taki, Buda Baker. That's pretty mid. This is probably 4,000, 3,000. 5, 5, 60. All right. My guesses are not very good, but... Our second 70 plus is our second to last. No. Hey, it's an elite player. It's Julian Love, at least. Nice. Could have been worse. All right, our final pack. This is our 50th mystery pack is a max fantasy. Needed to be a good one. And it's utterly mid so far. Has a chance to clutch up here. Darrell Taylor, Kyler, Keaton, Ernest Jones. It's pretty mid. It's pretty mid. At this point, it's time to quick sell everything and see how much we got. Keep in mind, I did add 25,000 training there at the end to get another 10. So 425,000 training turned into what? Let's find out. First wave of 100 is 134,000 training. We pulled two coin quick sells, actually. That's 28,000 plus the Nick Bolton. I must have schemed over that Jeff Okuda on accident, but I am sorted by newest, so he had to have been pulled. Now, honestly, with how close it is to breaking even, if you do get just one nasty pull, 
like anything 92 plus are obviously a limited one available shit's gonna go crazy our second wave of 100 121,884 training and the final set of 54 players is 57923 one last player to quick sell is 83 coin quick sell nick bolton so 425,000 training turned into 315,500 and about 80,000 coins worth of quick sell players. So obviously you're losing training. Actually, an easier way to think of that is for every 1,000 training you spend, you can expect to get about 740 back. Obviously not very good, but there's no realistic way to turn training into coins. So I don't hate it. Especially, I will say, you can scheme this a lot better than I did. Now, for example, these mystery packs can give you a campus hero pack, right? We got a lot of those. Imagine I was opening these when there was a campus heroes limited available. You obviously have really increased chances to pull that limited in that pack. So this wasn't the most meta time to do this, but when the next promo drops, if they include the packs from that promo in the mystery pack, it's probably the best time to do it. So if you're sitting on a lot of training, could be fun. I will say, I actually expected that to be a lot worse. That was pretty fun. Didn't lose too much training and we're chilling. All right, boys. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Wanted to do a throwback to some of the videos I used to do many years ago. Just opening some packs, seeing what they're worth. Hope you guys enjoyed. I love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.